Well, I, I mean, just from my own life and, and going through situations where y you feel every right to be angry and like seek vengeance and you, I mean, you're just ticked, you know? It becomes consuming. It totally takes over who you are as a person and prevents you from being who God wants you to be. You know, redemption takes place, that's great, but if there's if there's bitterness and he's rescued you from a bad situation, especially if it's abuse or uh, just a, a nasty environment, you know, and there's your um, you know, people doing that to you are still present in your life. You know, I think growth can only really take place and that, that sort of rebirth that talks about in scripture can only take place through some just very brutally honest steps of, of obedience towards God. And, and some of that is doing stuff we don't want to, which is forgiving the people who hurt us. Um, I was in a ministry situation a couple years ago. I met some people who were actually at the church that I worked at um, here today. And I, I mean, I didn't recognize them, unfortunately, but um, I was a youth minister for a long, long time. And um, it didn't end well, you know, and it was a very painful experience for my wife and I. Um, we were newly married, found out we were pregnant with our first daughter, a church going through some heavy transition and everything. And um, I was a know-it-all 22-year-old, and it was, you know, it was a perfect storm. But through it all, um, got beat up and got really upset with the institution, as it were, not God at all, um, but the idea of formalized church and, and wanting to be a part of it thereafter. But it, it took very honest conversations between me and God, between me and trusted friends who weren't a part of that situation, to say that you know whether I was wronged or not uh, isn't the question. It's am I going to forgive you know in, in those in those people? And I feel that you know if there's truly injustice done to us as God's children then he takes that injustice very seriously. And so trusting him with justice, trusting him with working in that person's life, uh, and then reaping the benefits of the healing that you experience by forgiving, I think is, is why it's so poignant in scripture that that's, it's demanded of us. And because we're not worth forgiving either. So I mean, that's the, for me, that's, it's, it's a very real thing that I you know, still go through and you still deal with, but I don't, I don't think it's, it's a cliche and I don't think it's, it's fluff. It's very, very hard and probably one of the hardest things that Christians have to deal with.